But do you think you would like living forever? Um, I definitely don't want to die. Living forever, I feel like in the sense of I would see so much, I would know so much, and history tends to repeat itself. I feel like it would get kind of annoying, especially if depending on how like how you want to live your life, being able to live forever. Because let's say you're somebody who wants to make change in the world, but you've seen everything, and no matter what, it just keeps repeating. Like the same stuff keeps happening over and over. Because it's kind of human nature, and I feel like that's how things are. Um, that would be very annoying, but if you're just someone who, because you can only experience so much, you know, but technology changes and everything is becomes new. So that would be cool to be able to experience new things, but it's like, how long will it take for you to be able to experience something new after you've done everything? You know what I mean? So. Like, what do you, wait, you said, how long will it take for you to experience new things after you've done everything? Yeah, let's say you did everything? everything you can do, right? But time, technology advances, new things, new inventions, right? But. It it takes time for those new things to start existing. And okay. so the time between you having a new experience and the new thing being created could be very long. And then when that new thing is created, it might not even be worth the wait. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, dang, I just spent all this time for a new experience and it was trash. Mm. And now I got to wait again for something new. <laughs> you also create stuff, but I don't know. It, it's like, I think it would be okay. I think the biggest thing is that you would lose people that you know. That would be the most annoying thing, you know, like people you create bonds with or relationships with, they don't live forever as well. So then you got to create new relationships, but then you might get like, this is kind of pointless because everybody I know just ends up dying anyway, but it's, I don't know. You know? It's like, I wouldn't mind it given, I don't know. It would be, it would be interesting. It'd be a, an interesting predicament to be in. Like in the moment, I want to say yes, but then after X amount of time has passed, I feel like I wouldn't have the same, you know, feeling. I feel like what throws it off is you don't have that baby stage or like that kid stage where like you don't oh. really know what's going on when you talk about like waiting to experience new things, mm -hmm. like always understanding it as it happens, make it a bit boring. Because I feel like there's a buffer in between like when you're born and when you get to the age where you start experiencing things for yourself. Mm -hmm. So it gives things time to like upgrade and become new. While you don't really understand anything, so everything mm -hmm. feels new when you get around that age. But then once you get like, and I think it, it happens again, maybe if you get older, like 50, 60, 70, and like you become less like clocked in on everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. So things could also bring some variety when, you know, your grandkid comes over around and they have this new phone or tablet or device or whatever. And you're like, oh, what's that? I've never seen that before. But like maybe like the years in between like 20 and 60 or for average people who aren't really like clocked in the technology, it might be a bit boring. But I don't know. But if you just live forever and you're always in the same state, like, I don't know, you're 24, but like forever, I could see how that could like, get boring. Okay. What age would you want to be at when you live forever? Um, I would probably want to be, I would say like 25. <laughs> I just say that because I haven't experienced like much mm -hmm. older than that. So I would say 25. That's when that's when the brain is done forming, right? For dudes, I think so. Uh, I would say, yeah, wait, maybe thirty-two. Why thirty-two? Because they say you can stop, like you usually stop building muscle around the age of thirty. <laughs> this is just me, like bodybuilding in okay. my mindset. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens if you're wait? You stop building muscle? What does that mean? Yeah, like that's your peak. So you can't build any muscle past thirty-two. You can't. Or 30? Hard. Sorry. Hold on one sec. I had to rinse off the spatula. Okay, but um, hmm. I gotta check. I gotta double check that. But I do think thirty two is like the age you can stop. But you're saying if you're twenty five, you can just continue to build muscle at the age of twenty five. I guess I don't your know muscles have to mature though. So are you looking at like twenty five is just what it is? You know what I'm saying? Like your body won't age past twenty five. Yeah, but I guess your brain will always. I don't know. Take I would, I would do 30. I would do 30. I feel like I, I low key want to do 40 because then you can be like voted into certain positions like in, in government because I feel like you would gain a lot of knowledge and you probably would be like one of the best people to. Well, OK, I guess this is another question. So when we say this, will your age go up like for things outside of your body? So like, let's say my, my body stuck at 25. But when somebody looks at my birth certificate or whatever, it'll read on my real age. Yes. OK, yeah. To like 30 then maybe. 